Hi YouTube, we're doing arroz con gandules. I have already put the sofrito in it, the gandules in it. So it's four cups of water. Three tablespoons of oil. A tablespoon of garlic. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. Three teaspoons of olive. Of course, Goya without no pit. Three tablespoons of perfect seasoning. Half a teaspoon of viejo to give it a color because the sofrito is green. One envelope of sazon. Now, that is, I wish you could be here so you could smell it. I have it boiling. I estimate cooking time and everything within a good 27 minutes to 30 minutes. So we're using just two cups of rice because that will feed four people. So, I like my gondolas to mix in with the sofrito really, really good. A lot of people, you know, they stir fry the sofrito with the gondolas. And I like to do both. Remember, now that it's boiling, it's a good time for you to check for your salt. Make sure that you have all the salt that you need into it. Um, even though I put three tablespoons, but I'm gonna need like a, mm, a good half, like a teaspoon of salt. But this is um, kosher salt that I use for that. So now I give it a swirl. See the gandules, the olives. It's like the house smells so good. To smell it. it smell really good perfect and two cup of rice so now remember four cups of water two cups of rice a teaspoon of kosher salt four tablespoon of sazon perfect which it has everything from onions, culantro, it has everything. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. One sazon, we Spanish people use sazon con achote always. But to get a little bit of red, I put some yajo en la fe, which is good. Let me show it to you. It's not so expensive. Three teaspoons of olive. Put it already. This we use it in salads and everything else, and picadillo, and a teaspoon of, well, a tablespoon of granulated garlic. Okay, so this is what we use to make our rice. So now we boil it to a boil. Everything tastes good. I like how it tastes. So now we get our rice. Pour it in there. I always make sure there's like a little land that tells me it's perfect. It's going to be perfect rice. So now we stir it. I always got to hear like a sizzle. So when I hear a sizzle is when it's done, I will, I will tell you, um, stir the rice now. Okay. And then leave it alone. Don't touch the rice. Some of us like to make a little mountains. Some of, some of us like to stir the rice and stir the rice. This is how sometimes our rice come out mushy. We don't want, we want very cooked rice, but not mushy rice. So we're stirring it for approximately like 30 seconds. So all that salt, all those ingredients, all those herbs that are in this rice cooks up perfectly into our rice. Give and take as soon as this rice starts boiling. But that I'm saying that I'm serious. Within 30 minutes, we should have dinner. I have a pork chop in the oven already. I'm gonna do some fish for myself because I'm baking some vegetables. And 
I'm not going to use breadcrumbs. I'm going to use cornmeal. Very fine. And there's a teaspoon of garlic in there. And there's a dash of paprika. No salt because salmon has its own salt. And I'm not going to use any salt. So when that comes up, I'm going to be able to take So right now, this is boiling. I'll be back as soon as this dries up. Okay, so it's boiling, it's drying up. This is how it's supposed to be looking, but it has to dry even more. In this section, I have the cornmeal and I have one beaten egg. And I don't like to season it with nothing else. It's, that's just me. A little tip, cut yourself a piece of aluminum foil. So when your rice is totally dry, you put this before the lid. Why? Because it's going to help it steam even more. So whatever steam does not leave the lid. So it stays right there. So it steams the rice more and it makes it even more tender. This is just a tip that, you know, it's an op option if you want to do it or not. So at the end of this video, I'm going to put down in the bottom all the ingredients that you need to do for four to five people. To eat ajo con gandules. This is really good, trust me. Um, and like I was showing you, some people like to stir fry the sofrito. I don't. I like to put everything just to make it so everybody can see that it could be simple. Just put the four cups of water, put the ingredients in it, and let it boil. Let it boil first, and then you add the rice in. Once it's boiling, then you add the rice, and you see how it's drying. It's drying beautiful. We're going to start hearing a sizzle. Once we hear that sizzle, the rice is ready to be covered and ready to be sealed. So I want to keep the camera on until we can hear it sizzle. So. You see you're hearing the sizzle. Okay, we're hearing the sizzling, but I want to hear it even louder. You hear it? Okay, see on the top it's dried. A little bit more, so I hear it really tons the sizzling. And then we're gonna cover it. Okay. See now it's drier and drier. So now we're gonna bring the heat down. See it's really high? We're gonna bring it down. Given. We're gonna put, like I said, the aluminum foil. We're gonna cover this up so that steam can stay inside this pot. Then we're gonna put the lid on. Make sure you close this really good. Okay, really good. I put this aluminum foil there. Corner. Now we're gonna give it a good. 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna open it up and the rice should be done it's not a big deal so now we're going to put our frying pan on bring that up um that's uh, canola oil i like to use canola oil olive oil peanut oil Right. So now we have our salmon fillets. We're going to make sure that we coat this in egg. Make sure that it's 
very well coated. The reason why I'm going to find it and coat it in, in, in the cornmeal because it stands up. It's meaty. It stands up for it. So it won't break on you or nothing like that. Anything that you do with cornmeal, trust me, it's like a, like a glue. So now that we've done this, and again, I have no salt in my egg because I try not to eat with salt. And we're going to coat our fish. It's just nothing. Three big tablespoons of cornmeal. I'm going to make sure that this is covered. I like to give it a second coating. Because I like my salmon real crunchy. And then we're just going to put in here. Make sure that everything is covered. You could just do one. It's still good. I'm gonna put the other one into the egg batter. I'm holding on until that fryer is hot. Which you can hear it. Sizzling. Yeah, you don't wanna put your fish when it's cold. You wanna hear sizzles. So how we splash it and it's bubbling up. Very good. So I'm going to coat this double because I, this is mine. I like my double. And then the other one is going to be just a single layer. So as soon as this boils, pretty hot, our fish is in there. So now we're going to do this one. It's a simple coating, one only. It's just simple. And you're going to see how beautiful this fish turns out to be. You won't believe it. So yeah, it was just three teaspoons of cornmeal. This whole fish is going to be coated. You may think not, but it will be coated. Now we're gonna put this one to fry as well. So now we got two. Go fry. Another thing, so when you do the fish with this cornbread, you have to keep your eye on it because it fries really quick. It will cook in, it will steam in, and you know salmon doesn't need a lot of cooking i don't know why a lot of people there's a lot of cooking but i do two minutes and two to three minutes on each side depending how thick it is and not even i would say probably one and a half to one and a half so this is how it's looking it's looking already just gonna turn it to see. You see how quick it, it cooks quickly. See how beautiful. This is beautiful. So so frying one another minute and a half. And we're pulling it out. And I just took out of the oven some carrots and beets that I bake with um, organic butter. I like organic butter because, you know, it has no salt, unsalted butter, because it's just pure, and it's, it tastes really good, even though it doesn't have no salt, but it tastes really, really, really good. So this is just baby carrots and um, a large beet that I baked, so that's that, and that's going to go with the fish. So it's approximately that minute already, let me check again, beautifully. Okay. And we're gonna start pulling this out. Because we don't want it to burn. We want it to be nice and moist and soft. We don't want to choke on it. The only thing we want to see crunchy is the, the coating on top. Okay, we are ready to take up the fish. Mm. 
remember it has the color because it has paprika smoked and that's it now listen that's the cornmeal I like mine crunchy I like you can make salmon in so many ways you can make a barbecue sweet and sour you can make it uh, lemon and pepper you can make it sweet with roseberries and I mean, excuse me, raspberries and blueberries. You can make it with syrup, cane sugar. There's so many ways you can make salmon. You can make it poached, baked, fried, um, barbecued. There's so many different ways. I, today, it was a craving for something fried. So I got vegetables that are baked and my fried fish remember this is a single layer and you see how it looks this is a double layer so this is how it looks so and we have like a good mm, couple of more minutes for the rice and then we'll come back to the finished product okay so this is the rice already dried see it's not too dry and it's not too moist it's perfect so we're gonna start serving the rice and we're going to put a pork chop get a good in the oven oh and I got those from Whole Foods Here goes that big chuleta. It's done beautiful. And this is it. This is the finished product. You can put lettuce, tomatoes, corn, green beans, as you like. So, rice is perfectly fluffy and is really good so until next time I'll come up with more recipes so make this this will feed up to four to five people this is two teaspoons because we don't want to overfeed people we don't want to overfeed nobody so two teaspoons and a pork chop will be fine for a nice diet so until next time YouTube Signing out. Bye.